Hello students, welcome to the world of fermentation technology. This lecture is a part of NMEI City project, an initiative of Ministry of HRD, Government of India. Today, we will focus our discussion on various range, that is a type of fermentation processes. Let me start with classification of various fermentation processes. Fermentation processes can be classified into five different categories. First, processes producing microbial enzymes. Second, processes producing microbial metabolites. Third, processing producing microbial cells, that is biomass as the product. Fourth, processing producing recombinant product. And fifth, processing modifying substrate that is transformation processes. Now we will discuss all five processes one by one. First processes that produce microbial enzymes. Microbes, plants and animals are the major source of enzymes. Commercial production of many enzymes exploiting this source have been achieved. As being produced in large quantities by the fermentation processes, microbial enzymes have the enormous economical potential. Microbes are more prone to change in its genetics to enhance its productivity compared to plant or animal system. It is possible to produce enzymes of eukaryotic into the prokaryotic system with the help of recombinant DNA technology. It is possible to control and improve microbial enzyme producing by various microorganisms and by introducing inducers and activators in the production medium. It is also possible to increase the copy number of genes coding for the specific enzymes using principles of recombinant DNA technology. You can see in the following table the details of various enzymes, their sources and applications in several industries. For some example, amylases which are produced by fungi as well as bacteria and has got good applications in the field of baking and milling industry where reduction of bulk viscosity, acceleration of the fermentation medium, increase in the loft volume, improvement of the crumb softness and maintenance of the freshness is carried out. You can see the applications of proteases which can be produced by fungal as well as bacteria in the industry of braving where these enzymes are applied for chill proofing, improvement of fine filtration. Likewise, table shows various enzymes, their sources, their application and their concern industries. Now, second processes that produce microbial metabolites. The growth of a culture can be divided into four major phases. These are leg phase, log phase, stationary phase and death phase. First, log phase. Once the inoculation of the cell into fresh medium is done, the bacterial population remains temporarily unchanged. There is no cell division during this phase. The cell grow in volume and mass by synthesizing population remains temporarily unchanged. Metabolic activity is at high rate. This period is known as a period of adaptation. There are various factors that affect this phase are size of inoculum, time required to recover shock in the transfer, time required for synthesizing essential coenzymes and many other factors. 
टाइम रिक्वायर फॉर सिंथेसिस ऑफ नेसेसरी न्यू एंजाइम्स टू मेटाबोलाइज द सबस्टेट प्रेजेंट इन द मीडियम प्ले अ क्रूशियल रोल सेकेंड फेज दैट इज फेज ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल ग्रोथ दिस पीरियड इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज द फेज ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल ग्रोथ ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड द ग्रोथ रेट ऑफ द सेल ग्रेजुअली इंक्रीज द सेल्स ग्रो एट अ कॉन्स्टेंट बट मैक्सिमम रेट सेल्स आर ग्रोइंग इन जियोमेट्रिक प्रोग्रेशन डिवाइडिंग बाय बाइनरी फिशन द इंक्यूबेशन कंडीशन एंड कंपोजिशन ऑफ द ग्रोथ मीडियम कंट्रोल द रेट ऑफ सेल डिविजन थर्ड फेज दैट इज स्टेशनरी फेज ड्यूरिंग दिस फेज ग्रोथ सीज इट इज अ बेट कल्चर एक्सपोनेंशियल ग्रोथ कैन नॉट बी कंटिन्यू फॉर एवर वेरियस फैक्टर्स लाइक एग्जोशन ऑफ द अवेलेबल न्यूट्रिएंट एक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ इनिबिटरी मेटाबोलाइट्स और एंड प्रोडक्ट and lack of biological space limit the growth during this phase during this phase the number of dividing cell equals the number of dying cells this is not a quiescent period like leg and fourth that is death phase this phase is the reverse of the log phase the viable cell population decline exponentially during this phase based on various product produce the phase of bacterial growth can be categorized into two phase these are the trophophase and idiophase first trophophase metabolites which are essential to the growth of cell like amino acids nucleotides proteins nucleic acids lipids carbohydrate are produced during this log phase the product produced during this phase are known as primary metabolites and the phase in which they are produced is referred to as trophophase trophophase is equivalent to the log or exponential phase the primary metabolites are also known as central metabolites several primary metabolites are of economic importance and can be produced in a large quantity by fermentation process the synthesis of primary metabolite by wild type of microorganisms aims to meet the requirement of the organisms the industrial production of this metabolite can be achieved by providing appropriate cultural conditions to the wild type of organisms to increase and to improve the productivity of this compound productivity can also be improved by modifying interested genes by the help of recombinant dna technology you can see in the following table the summary of few economically important primary metabolite which can be produced at a large scale now second idiophase during the stationary phase several microbial cultures produce certain compound these compounds are not produced during trophophase and which do not appear to have any obvious function in the cell metabolism these compounds are called secondary compounds of metabolism the phase during which these compounds are produced are known as idiophase and this phase is equivalent to stationary phase the secondary metabolism is also known as special metabolism the product of secondary metabolisms are not absolutely required for the survival of the organisms all microorganisms do not undergo secondary metabolism it is common amongst the filamentous bacteria and fungi and the spore forming bacteria the taxonomic distribution of secondary metabolism is different from that of the primary metabolism the physiological role of secondary metabolism and hence secondary metabolites in the producer cells has been the subject of considerable debate the large scale production of secondary metabolites focus on the importance of this metabolite on organisms other than those 
that produce them. Secondary metabolites play an important physiological role in several ways. Many secondary metabolites possess antimicrobial activity, some act as a specific enzyme inhibitor and growth promoter, and many have pharmacological properties. Thus, due to a huge economic potential, the industrial production of this metabolite have formed the basis of a number of fermentation processes. As the wild type of microorganism produce very low concentration of secondary metabolites, the large-scale synthesis can be controlled by induction, catabolite repression, and feedback system. Following is the outline of interrelationship between primary and secondary metabolism and their respective product. Now third, processes that produce microbial cells or biomass as the product. The commercial microbial biomass production can be divided into two major processes. The production of yeast to be used in baking industry and the production of microbial cell which can be used as human or animal food which is also known as single cell protein. Baker's yeast has been produced on a large scale since the early 1900th century and yeast was produced as a human food in Germany during First World War. However, it was not until 1960 that the production of microbial biomass as a source of food protein was explored to any great depth. A few large-scale continuous processes for animal feed production established in 1917. These processes were based on hydrocarbon feedstock which could not compete against other high-protein animal feed resulting in their closure in the late 1918. Now fourth, processes that produce recombinant product. Recombinant DNA molecules are also known as chimeric DNA as they consist gene of two different species. The nucleotide sequences used in the construction of recombinant DNA molecules can be formed any species. For example, plant or human DNA may be combined with bacterial DNA or human DNA may be joined with the fungal DNA. Genes from higher organisms can be inserted into microbial cell in such a way that the recipients are capable of synthesizing foreign proteins. The advancement in the application of recombinant DNA technology has made possible to produce a range of recombinant product by the fermentation process. A wide range of microbial cells have been used as a host for such system including Escherichia coli, Saccharomyces cerevisiae and many other filamentous fungi. Recombinant DNA is widely used in research, agriculture, medicine, and biotechnology. Several products that results from the use of recombinant DNA technology are found in almost every pharmacy, medical testing laboratory, doctors as well as veterinarians office and biological research laboratories. Following are the recombinant product that produced by genetically engineered organisms. These are human growth hormones, biosynthetic human insulin, envelope protein of hepatitis B viruses, follicle stimulating hormones, blood clotting factor 3, erythropoietin, granulocyte colony stimulating factor, alpha galactosidase, alpha L eduinoridinidase, and acetyl galactosamine for sulfatase, tissue plasminogen activator, glucose cerebrosidase, interferon, insulin-like growth factor 1, bovine somatotrophin, porcine somatotrophin, and bovine chymosine. And last, processes 
that modify the substrate which are also known as transformation processes. Many microbial cells may be exploited to convert a compound into a structurally related and financially more valuable compound. As microbes can behave as catalyst with high positional specificity and stereospecificity, microbial processes are more specific than purely chemical ones. These microbial processes enables the removal, addition or modification of various functional groups at predefined specific site on a complex molecule without use of chemical protection. The reactions which may be catalyzed include dehydrogenation, oxidation, hydroxylation, dehydration and condensation, decarboxylation, amination, deamination and isomerization. As microbial processes can be operated at a relatively low temperature and pressure have the additional advantage over chemical processes which require very high temperature, more pressure and presence of heavy metal catalyst a which is a potential po environmental pollutant. Production of vinegar is the most well established microbial transformation process. Many transformation processes have been rationalized by immobilizing either the whole cell or the isolated enzymes on an inert support which catalyze the reaction. The immobilized cell or enzymes may be reused many times in several processes. So this is all about the range of fermentation processes. Thank you very much and have a good day.